Hey my beautiful Leo peeps, what's going on everybody? It's Anne from Captain Moon Tarot and I'm coming at you guys with your mid-June 2022 tarot reading. How are you guys? I hope you guys are well. Without further ado, let's go ahead and begin and see what we got going on for you, baby. What information do we got coming up here for the Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding their mid-June 2022? Let's go ahead and check it out and see what we got going on in your life, baby. First card out, we do have here the Nine of Pentacles. Moving on to the next card for you, we do have here the Strength and then last for Leo, we got here the Page of Pentacles. So taking a look here at what's going on in your life, jumping up into mid-June, we got the Nine of Pentacles, the Strength, and the Page of Pentacles. Definitely feels to me like you're in a position to where you feel pretty confident moving into the second half of the month. I'm not sure what this confidence entails, but I can definitely say you have gotten into a place where you find that you have been very disciplined. Um, this could be the energy of feeling like you're finally disciplined in some area of your life. Maybe you finally feel disciplined in a health regimen, feeling discipline in your work, feeling discipline in your routine and your regimens. Um, you know, this is the vibe of like, I feel like I'm on top of my shit. Okay. Uh, maybe you found like in the past, it was very hard to constantly stay consistent on doing something. Maybe it was hard to be consistent in your work, hard to be consistent in your uh, type of regimens, hard to be consistent in your friendships, whatever the case may be. There was this lack of consistency and this lack of discipline that I feel like you guys are really overcoming here, jumping into mid-June. So you feel on top of yourself, you feel on top of your shit, you feel on top of the world. You feel like you have so much more to offer now because putting forth work now feels very effortless. Whereas in the past, you felt like every time you would try to do something, there was like this roadblock that was standing in the way of you. So Leo, if you were feeling like you were constantly dealing with like nonstop blockages, it was very difficult to do things. I feel like that energy is definitely lightening up over here, moving into mid-June 2022. Cool. I really like that. That's actually a great start. Let's go ahead and have a look here now at your surroundings and see what's going on over there. So what's going to be going on here in Leo surroundings, please? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout mid-June 2022. Let's go ahead and have ourselves a look. First card out, we do have here the Nine of Wands. Moving on to the next card for you, Leo, is gonna be the Devil. And then lastly for Team Leo, what do we have here? And we have here the Eight of Cups. So taking a look at your surroundings at this time, Nine of Wands, the Devil, and the Eight of Cups. You know, usually the more that negative people, toxic people, individuals that just don't have anything good to bring to the table tend to filter out of our life. Typically, that's when we really start to grow and expand. You know, once we get rid of the negativity, we get rid of the people who are not doing us any good, the people that don't want the highest of all good for us, that's when we start to see change and transformation. So it does feel to me that looking at your surroundings here in mid-June, you're starting to see a lot of the toxicity filter out of your life. A lot of the toxic people filter out of your life. And you know what? That's nothing but a beautiful and positive thing for you because it now redirects your attention to who yourself. And as you have the time right now to redirect all of your attention, and all of your energy back into yourself, Leo, that's why it feels so much more easier to be disciplined. That's why it feels so much easier to grow and expand. It feels so much easier to work on yourself because no longer are you getting clouded by the distractions, right? So Leos, I definitely like this for you as well. Taking a look at what's going on in your environment, you're seeing people drop out of your life like flies, but you're not mad about it though. You're not mad about it at all. It's kind of like, yeah, all right, this is a good thing. Um, it's really good when you start to see who people truly are behind the mask that they portray. So that's going to be showing up here for you guys jumping into mid-June. You know, you might see some people dropping out of your life like flies, but I wouldn't be too worried about it because the people that do start to drop out of your life are the people already who were not serving in your highest of good. So I'm not sure necessarily what's triggering this, but it seems to me like that's going to be happening very naturally for you guys at this time. So if you and friends are no longer talking, if you and you, you know, your lover are starting to have problems, if you and other individuals or people in your your workplace are starting to have problems and you're noticing people kind of just naturally distancing themselves from you, chances are that's because your light now is starting to shine so bright that their dark energies can no longer resonate with that, okay? Remember, light cannot resonate with the dark. Yes, we need the dark and the light, but they both are not on the same plane of resonation. So if somebody here sees your light, Leo, and they see you shining so bright, they're not going to feel attracted to that, okay? So what this means is that now as you're in a higher vibration, you're going to start to attract higher vibrational things for your 
yourself. So this is really good, man. Uh, stepping into mid-June here so far. Very disciplined, very on par. You guys are on top of your shit here, Leo. You're getting things done. You know, you felt very blocked in the recent past. You know, you felt like you couldn't complete certain tasks. You couldn't hit certain goals. You couldn't do certain things. You couldn't stay consistent. But now you're noticing that in mid-June, the more your vibration is raising, the more and more you're distancing yourself from certain people, and the more and more those people are naturally distancing themselves from you. And as that negativity exits your life, the more and more beautiful things are starting to now enter. Awesome. I love it. Let's go ahead and take a look at your mental health check here for your mid-June 2022. Let's go ahead and get an idea here of Leo's mental health throughout the second half of June. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, that was a whole bunch of cards that shot out. Let's go ahead and take a look though, okay? So what do we have here? We got here the Magician, we got here the Page of Wands, we got here the Fool card, and we got here the Queen of Pentacles. So taking a look here at your mental health, I can definitely say it's looking pretty dang positive. Let me go ahead and lay out these cards real quick and then we shall talk about it. So taking a look over here for you, Leo, Queen of Wands, or sorry, Queen of Pentacles. We got here the Fool, the Page of Wands, and the Magician. With the Queen of Pentacles here, to the fool card, you know, you're in a position right now where it feels very easy to let go of things. So mentally right now, this is a good thing because it feels easy to let go of blockages. It feels easy to let go of negative thoughts. It feels easy to let go of negative people. You're in a position of time right now where it just genuinely feels easy to let go. And that's not no, you know, that's not always something that's such an easy thing to do for people. I think that naturally a lot of people have actually a tough time letting go of stuff, but coming into your mid month over here, it's a completely different story. It's like, if you have a negative thought, that comes into your mind, you can let it go like that and instantly replace it with a positive one. You know, if you're having a bad experience, you can walk away from that experience instantaneously. You know, you're just in this position to where you feel super disciplined on all levels, especially mentally, because where does discipline really come from? It comes from your mental. So if you have a strong mental health, if you're very strong, if you're very disciplined, if you feel anything negative happening and you instantly drop that, you're in a good place, okay? So I feel like taking a look here at your mental health, the full card to the Queen of Pentacles is very easy to let go of stuff. It's very easy to take care of yourself. You know, looking at the Page of Wands here to the Magician, it also feels pretty dang easy too to manifest good energy and to manifest good vibes here too because of how you've been feeling on a mental level. So Leo's stepping on into your second half of June, you have a very strong mental health. For sure. And I'm really loving this energy for you, man. I really feel like this is going to be a great second half of the month for you. This is going to be a time where you start to see a lot of success step into your life because you are priming yourself for success. A person who has a healthy mindset is going to live a very healthy life. A person who has a very positive mindset is going to live a very positive uh, life, okay? At the end of the day, when your mindset is in a certain area, it is going to manifest in your exterior world. So if you have a positive mindset, you're going to have a positive life. You have a happy mindset, you got to happy life, right? At the end of the day, however you're feeling up here is going to manifest out there. So as far as what I'm seeing mentally, you guys are looking super sharp. I feel like it's easy to let go of stuff. It's easy to let go of blockages. You know, you just don't really have anything standing in the way of you. You really have no distractions here. You guys are on point. Okay. Let's see what you can expect moving forward throughout the rest of this month. What can my Leos expect moving forward, please, throughout the rest of mid-June 2022? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What else can my Leos expect moving forward? We do have here the Hierophant card. Not too shabby at all. This is Taurus energy. The Hierophant showing up over here, it's a card of consistency. It's a card of commitment. So you seem very committed here to yourself moving forward. I feel like this is about you saying, I need to do myself the best duty and the best service I can. You know, this is recognizing that at the end of the day, the number one person in my life that I should be treating in the highest regard is me, right? Moving on forward from that, we do have here the Seven of Swords. We also have here the King of Cups and we have here the Knight of Pentacles. So let's go ahead and talk about that real quick, okay? We got here the Seven of Swords to the King of Cups. What this is representing to me is that you're in a position of time too where you're recognizing the number one thing that I also needed in my life to overcome obstacles, whether those obstacles were other people or any sort of negativity that I've had within myself, the number one thing that I've needed to really tap into was love and compassion. I feel like the King of Cups here is your emotional state of being and you recognized that your emotions really drove a lot that was going on in your world and it's very true. You know, the more unhappy of a person that you are, chances are the more unhappiness you're gonna put out there into the world. And at the end of the day, you recognize the number one thing that I need to get straight first is how I feel emotionally 
emotionally. I need to be that person who feels good. I want to be a person who feels like I can give out love and compassion into the world. I want to be a person who feels like I can give out kindness to the world. And you were recognizing that in your recent past, maybe you didn't feel like you were that person. Maybe you felt like you were a person who was bitter. Maybe you felt like you were a person who was always in a kind of like miserable mood. Maybe you felt like you were a person who didn't really you know, have good vibes to put out there. And that was a version of yourself that you weren't loving. That was a version of yourself that you were not liking and enjoying. And you recognized if I want to change who I am, I have to start tapping into those higher vibrational energies, such as compassion, such as love, such as kindness. So, you know, you're recognizing here too, coming into the second half of your month, one of the biggest changes that you had to adapt to was tapping into those energies of love and compassion and kindness. So I think you recognized here one of your biggest blockages that maybe you had in your recent past was not being in those higher vibrational energies. And now that you're recognizing, you know, your mindset, your emotional state of well-being, you know, recognizing that those being in good places is what's going to create a good life for you. You guys are always making sure that you're now putting forth kindness, putting forth love, putting forth all the beautiful energy you possibly can, you know? And with the Knight of Pentacles over here, that means you're doing it consistently because Knight of Pentacles is a very stable energy. It's about going forward with the same type of energy that you're bringing to the table right now. So Leo, in mid-June 2022, this second half of the month marks a beautiful transformation that's going on within yourself, but it also marks how you want to mold and present yourself going forward. You know, you don't want to be the person that's miserable. You don't want to be the person that's spreading bad vibes and spreading negativity. You want to be the person that leads a life of kindness, that leads a life of happiness, that leads a life of giving good energy to other people. You want to be that beautiful light worker you are because as I mentioned previously throughout this reading, you're now resonating with the light. And the more and more you resonate with the light, the more and more the dark doesn't have the ability to resonate with you, right? So Leos, I definitely feel like this is going to be that month, man, where you tap into your light and you see people step on out of your life and they drop like flies and they drop like flies because they can't resonate with your light, baby. Point blank, period. And as I mentioned too, you know, being super disciplined, making sure you're taking care of yourself, making sure that your number one priority is you and your mental health and your overall well-being and making sure that you're doing every kind of activity that you can to keep yourself in a high vibration, you know, you're really going to see the benefits from that, Right? So I'm loving this energy so far. Let's see what else you can expect moving forward. All right. What else can my Leos expect here? Moving throughout the rest of their mid-June, please. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get two more cards. We do have here the Wheel of Fortune. So definitely expect a massive amount of change here, Leo. And then we also do have here the Queen of Wands. Definitely expect a massive increase in your confidence, okay? So we got here Wheel of Fortune. We got here Queen of Wands. What else you can also expect here is, is massive changes and massive amounts of abundance, all right? When you see the Wheel of Fortune, that does represent fortune coming to you. You know, when a person is wealthy within themselves, is wealthy within happiness. You know, granted, we're not talking about financial wealth here, but if you're wealthy and rich within your soul, you're going to be living a life of all types of riches, okay? That includes financial too. So this is about this time in the month, what you can expect is becoming rich within your soul. And that is one of the most beautiful types of abundances to ever experience and feel. And with the Queen of Wands showing up over here, it's also an energy to not only of being very confident, but feeling incredibly powerful. It's like you're feeling like the most advanced Leo you can potentially be here moving throughout the second half of June. So you're going to be feeling ultra powerful as well here, stepping into the second half of your month. So guys, like I said, man, you're just looking towards a very high vibrational month. You know, the distractions aren't there anymore. The negative people are dropping out of your life like flies. You guys are feeling more powerful by the day. You're putting out love and kindness into the world. You're making sure that you're putting out love and kindness within yourself. You know, you're just in the space right now where you feel good and where you're disciplined and where you're not allowing negative forces to penetrate you. The dark cannot resonate with the light, period. All right, I'm loving it, baby. Let's go ahead and take a look at the overall outcome for you. What's well, going to be the overall outcome here for Team Leo, please? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. They're at mid June 2022. And that outcome is going to be the Five of Cups, followed up here with the Two of Pentacles. I love this for you guys because you're recognizing that everything that you have going on right now in your life is a choice. Five of Cups. You know, typically the card of grief, typically the card of sadness. You know, you were saying to yourself over here, I have a choice, right? And if you deeply look at the five of cups, you actually can see this choice happening. We have this man over here. He's holding two cups while three cups are already knocked over. This person here can look at what he's lost, three of cups. He can look at all the happy moments and all the good things he had in life that he's lost and be upset about them. Or he can hold out these two more cups, aka what the future holds for him, and go out there and explore instead. At the end of the day, your future, right? 
is never really known. And the reason why I say that is because you are actively creating and manifesting your future determined and based upon the steps that you take in life. You know, your future can be anything that you'd like it to be depending on what you do right now. So you were saying to yourself, with the uncertainty of the future being a thing and knowing and acknowledging that my future is not predestined, if I want a better future, I can go out there and choose a better one for myself. I don't have to look at all the things I've lost in life and look at the hardships I've went through and feel and believe that that's all there's ever going to be for me when I can be that person to make that choice to make my future whatever I'd like it to. So with the two of pentacles showing up over here, you know, it's that realization of, hey, I can go either way. I can live a life that I feel is predestined for me and, you know, constantly be stuck in a battle of unhappiness or I can choose to resonate with the light. You know, there's a choice there. Do I choose the dark? Do I choose the light? Do I choose to continue to suffer? Do I choose to live a life of happiness? Do I choose to lead a life of miserable, uh, miserable energy? Do I choose to lead a life of compassion and love? Do I choose low vibration? Do I choose high vibration, right? You know, at the end of the day, happiness is a choice just as much as anything else in this world is a choice. So the overall outcome here is the recognition and the power of choice that we all have within us. And I'm happy to see you guys here choosing the high vibrational energies and the beauty in life. And you're going to see a massive, massive amount of happiness, positivity, kindness, and beautiful things that you'll be manifesting here moving throughout your second half of June. And like I said, Leo, this isn't just like a mid-June type of thing. You know, you really plan to carry this energy moving forward. Knight of Pentacles, you really plan here to carry this energy moving throughout the rest of the time that you're spending here. So guys, welcome to the High Vibe Tribe. Welcome to the High Vibrations. Stick around in here for a while. Stay here as long as you can. And definitely keep on working on yourself. Stay self-disciplined over here to make your goals and your dreams and aspirations come true. And never shut out that light. Always keep spreading that light because there's more people in this world who need to receive it. There's more people in this world who need to see the beauty in life because life is indeed truly beautiful. There's more people in this world that need to see that happiness is a choice. So show them that way, man. All right? All right, Leos. I love you. Take care, y'all. Enjoy the rest of your mid-June. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Much love to my Leo peeps and have yourselves a good one. Peace.